In this session, we will learn what is partitioning in PostgreSQL and how it is going to be beneficial. Uh, the same detail is available over here in uh, courses.emultiskills.com and you can see the slide presentation which is being used uh, as of now. Uh, we will, it will, this will be followed by a demo. Uh, all the details are mentioned over here so you can just copy and paste the details from courses.emultiskills.com. So let's continue. What is partitioning? So when there is a large table in PostgreSQL and you want it to uh, make it into small pieces so that uh, it improves your uh, performance of the SQL statement as well as management of the data. So partitioning is nothing but just dividing the bigger table into smaller pieces. What are the benefits of partitioning? The first one which we talk about is query performance. When heavily accessed rows of the tables are in a single partition or a small number of partition, then it is easier to access those rows. And have used part of the indexes, they fit in the memory when the table is partitioned. So in simple terms, when you access the data uh, from a small piece of uh, the table, your accessibility of the data is faster because you are going to access the relevant data only. We continue with the benefits. So when queries are of dates, access a large percentage of a single per, uh, partition, performance can be improved by using a sequential scan of that particular partition instead of using an index. And this is going to be really beneficial when the table is very, very large. And this is going to require random access read scattered across the whole table. So instead of a big table, uh, you, you are going to read the data in a sequential scan from the uh, n number of partitions which are based on that particular table. Uh, some of the other important benefits of using uh, the partition table is about the loads and deletes that can be accomplished by adding or removing the partitions. So instead of uh, working on the entire table, you can work on the uh, individual partition. You can drop the individual partition using uh, alter table, uh, detach statement or uh, alter table add uh, partition. In this way, the bulk operations will be faster. And uh, one of the challenge with the big tables in case of Postgre is if it is a big table and in, in case you have to do the vacuum, it is going to be very, very problematic. In some cases, it has been observed that those vacuum processes will never be able to, to complete. In, uh, if you try to log them, then it has other overhead. When should we uh, partition a table? So rule of thumb is, uh, the size of the table should exceed the physical memory of the database server. Let's say I have a 32 GB table and uh, some of my application uh, tables, if they have exceeded 32 uh, GB of uh, the size, in that case, uh, you need to partition your table. And if it is smaller partition table, they are good to fit into the memory, the indexes and their accessibility will be faster. What are the different types of partition? We have range partition. The table is partitioned into ranges, which is defined by a key column or the set of column uh, with no overlap between the ranges of the value assigned to different partition. Let's say if I do a range partition of some number between one to 10, they will fit into one partition. The other one uh, ranges from 10 to 20 and the, the last one, uh, let's say from 30 to onwards or something like that. Uh, the, the one which conflicts everywhere that is going to belong in the, the uh, next partition or the last partition. We have uh, other partition as well, uh, list partition and hash partitioning as well. In list partition, the table is partitioned by explicitly listing uh, some key values which appear in each partition. The last but uh, in this series is hash partition. Partitions are then defined by 
the two values let's say if you wanted to partition a table with 100 rows where in one of the column is having the the column name as id the values are 1 to 100 and if you wanted to create 10 partitions for uh, 1 to 10 in that case they will go into uh, one partition 10 to 20 in another uh, this way they go into 10 different partition if you do it the list partition then you will find the list of uh, some of the values and you will put the relevant data in one partition and uh, different uh, relevant data in other partition in case uh, the part uh, <coughs> excuse me in case neither <coughs> excuse me in case your uh, neither your list partition nor your uh, uh, other partition is good for your partitioning strategy in that way you go for the hash partitioning and in this you will see two terms one is the modulus another is the reminder modulus is the number of partition and reminder is the uh, the uh, it is going to be less than the number of the partitions so what are we going to do we are going to perform a demo we have everything listed over here and we are going to use that this is lesson number 117 okay let's go ahead and we'll start with the uh, range partition what we will do is we will everything is there over here in mobile extreme and what we are going to do is we are going to have it uh, we are already logged into the uh, psql prompt and now we will drop the table if it already exists so i'll say drop table sales we are going to use it for this demo and here we go we are going to go with the range partition we are going to create a table sales where we have the sales id as the serial total sales count as integer sales date as sales and we are going to partition by range that means for every month we are going to create one partition and this way for one year we will have 12 partition the very popular uh, what do we say the the example for the partitioned tables and i'm going to create 12 partitions for 12 months of last year which is 2021 uh, let me create one more partition for 2022 okay let me quit we'll say clear psql and we are just going to copy and paste so what we did is we are going to create the create table sales uh, 2021 okay let me show you it over here It is create table sales 202101 that is the partition number one and it is store, going to store the data where the date uh, will be between 1 1 2021 20, to uh, 1 2 2021 that means the first day of uh, january and first day of february so including these two it is going to create the partition <coughs> excuse me so we have created a 12 partition and then what we will do is we will see the relevant data over here and the tables are created you can see create table that is the partitions are created now we will see what are those partitions so there are 12 rows you can see it is created in the public schema you know, the table name is sales uh, the schema name is public and the child table 0102 till 12 so 12 partitions are created and now we will try to insert some data it is all in the range only 
that means uh, it lies between 1st January 2021 through 31st December 2021. Yes, you can see the data is inserted. Now what we are going to do is, okay, let me insert some more data. Hopefully this is fine. So you can use all of them if you have uh, taken the subscription. Yes, this is done. And now we will see the details. It's good demo to practice. You can see we have these many row counts for uh, for different partitions. <coughs> Excuse me. Now the next thing which we are going to do is uh, let's do an explain of the data between 1st uh, January to 31st January on uh, 2021. The first partition. If we do it you can see that we have done a sequential scan and uh, this is this is going to be useful in that case <clears throat> now we are going to go with the list partitioning uh, list partitioning what we will do is we are going to create a sample data table uh, wherein we are going to partition by the city let's create it I hope the table has already been dropped. Okay, let me drop drop table uh, table name. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a table sample data where we have uh, age. Okay, let me see. Okay, I think, okay, all right, let's, let's go with this. This is going to be very, very simple and straightforward. We have some age, uh, the, uh, the people with some specific age in particular C3 and uh, not very relevant, but this is just, just a demo. So let's, let's quickly do it. And we are going to create uh, three partitions and, uh, what we are going to do if the value is DL or BLR, it is going to be in the first partition, second partition, and the third partition if the value is something else. So let's quickly create this. So that means in that this case, we are saying the, if the range is DL or BLR, they will go into different uh, <coughs> partition. Excuse me. Let's insert the data. The data is inserted. Now let's go and uh, see the status of the sample data. You can see uh, we have the values available over here with the uh, the age. That means it is going to different partition. And in case if you wanted to see some more. Uh, detail you will be able to see this you can see if if sample data if the value is real it is going to go into sample data one if the value is BLR it will go into sample data two if there is something else it is going to go in the default partition the next one, if your list partition or range partition, none of those work for your example. In that case, you should go with the hash partition. That means uh, the data will be uh, be uh, gone to the different uh, uh, partitions, and they will be they it it will be tried to be equalized. So let me drop this table because we are going to use the same name, uh, which is sample data. paste okay and the next thing which we are going to do is we are going to create the table sample data age is not null city worker partition by hash city okay the table is created 
now let's create some partition 0 1 2 3 4 so we have already discussed what is modulus and remainder in this <coughs> excuse me if the modulus is 4 uh, remainder it is going to be always less than 4 and let's insert some data we have inserted some data now and finally let's see the uh, detail of sample data we have partition one two three four uh, these are the details modulus and the remainder and uh, finally the uh, let's describe one of the partition and this is how your hash partitioning is going to work so just a recap uh, we saw uh, what is partitioning in post gray bigger table into smaller pieces is there any thumb rule yes the thumb rule is if the size of uh, the the uh, uh, table is more than your memory so the, it is good to try to fit it in the memory though memory will be used by something else as well but we will try to put it uh, using the partitioning it is big table into small tables you have the query performance because you have to scan a smaller number of uh, a portion of the table and the heavily used part of the indexes is going to fit into the memory and uh, you you get the performance benefit using this sequential uh, scan instead of the uh, index uh, scan on that particular partition when it is created and uh, <coughs> the table management is good uh, when you have to add drop or alter any partition uh, the vacuuming process is going to be faster on to the individual partition instead of the uh, large bigger table type of the partition you have range partition we have list partition we have hash partition range partition wherein you mention the range. let's say we have given seen the demo of uh, uh, range partition wherein we have created 12 different partition for each uh, month uh, and uh, uh, the sales data has gone into individual partitions very popular uh, uh, example for the sales and uh, it goes into their uh, relevant uh, partition uh, the management is good the data accessibility is fast and uh, management of the table is faster query performance is good so you go with the range partition in that case if you have some key like the list partition if you know the list on what basis if you have some keywords like if this is the keyword of the particular column and the name if it matches that it will uh, move your uh, data into that particular partition hash partition if uh, range and list partition <coughs> excuse me does not qualify in that case hash partitioning is going to be useful for you we saw the demo for the list partitioning hash partitioning as well and that's that's all so you can see all the details are over here so once you uh, it is uh, lesson number 117 and i i hope this is going to be helpful for you